just washed up. Again, I've been here a thousand times and this was not here the other day. You can also see how our little insert also came up. And if you watched my last video, which I just put out today, because today's Saturday, I showed you my collection. These is a really nice one. Look at the swirls in the porcelain. But I'm more interested in this bottle right here, even though I'm gonna take this with me. But that's a cork top, and it's got a nice, nice little shape to it. Cork still in it. And it's got some history to it. I think that says Kaboa. I don't know. Did you just hear my stomach growl? I'm kind of hungry. But I like this bottle. Excellent. Look at that guy. No embossing, but a nice old bottle. Again, probably 20s and 30s. I was just digging a, a trough, searching, feeling for bigger bottles or bottles that are buried underneath. See this little guy? And I like what I just started to pull up. I'm guessing it's Coca-Cola-ish. I just dropped one of my favorite bottles. Look at that. I gotta be careful. Just fill it in my pocket. A numb nut. Let's see what we got going on here. I'm gonna fuss it around. It looks intact so far. It doesn't have the Coke embossed, but that's the Coke lettering right there. See that? So, I don't know if this one had the date down here. I don't see it. But I'm putting this more 40s and 50s, but that is a great bottle. Look at the size of it. Only a little scratches on the bottom, a little worn out here, but I gotta take that one. Well, when you're in an area like this, you have to understand that most of the stuff was thrown away because it was broken. Look at the piece that I just pulled up. That's a glass Jesus on the cross. As you can see, most of it is missing, but how cool is that piece? I have to take it home. Look at that. Just picked up this cool little bottle with all the, the indentations in it. It kind of feels nice. And a nice little piece of blue willow. Again, scraping down. Look at all the bottles and stuff that come up. Looks like today is going to be beat up treasure day. Look at this guy. I think that, yep, that's a pig. Broken ear, body's missing. Get a good shot of that. I think the last one was pretty blurry. Look at this pretty thing.
here it looks nice and calm. That's two hours before low tide. Looks kind of back already. Oh, look at the little cat. That's actually out there at the Navy base, and that is one of their big boats. And we're not looking at a super strong wash. There's some stones here, but this usually has more stones showing up. So, oh, that looks okay. What do you think? A little sandy. A little sandy. For the beach. Yep. Park, park Got an interesting little buckle here. Didn't look like much, but there is a little bit of design down here in these lines. I turned it over, it's even on both sides, and there's a little writing right here. And if you can make that out, that says silver plate. So that's pretty cool. And sometimes the high tide just drops stuff right up on the rocks. It's a big old lure. Good wash area. First signal at the beginning of it. I'm not really sure what it is. I'm leaning towards a button based on that kind of shank. It's always fun to watch when the bunker come in. And generally it's the bluefish that are chomping away on them. You can see them hit the top of the water. Let me see if I can get a good splash. There's a couple little ones. So we're out in the water right now. There's probably a gazillion bay fish bunker. And we got some bigger fish chomping away at them. And the seagulls like to come and play and feed. And they're still jumping. But let's take a look at this. What is this? Look at this thing. That's one massive piece of copper slash Grass. It's as heavy as heavy can be. I'm not sure what it was from. That's a nice big piece. It looks kind of hand forged. It's super, super heavy. Well, it was worth the effort. Just finally pulled a silver mercury dime out of here. Looks like 1920-something, which is a great date to find in here. So I'm gonna keep plugging away at this wash because there's been some old artifacts, junky ones, but a good enough age range. Good enough. Now that I'm hitting the waterline, I'm still getting some older targets. And this, I can only imagine, it would have been an enormous crotal, crotal bell. Look at that thing. Oh, if the rest of it was here. Now, I don't want to pat myself on the back, but... You see that collection of stones right there? I just picked up the hint of something a little too perfectly round. And look at what I dragged out of that. I don't even want to put it back in there to recreate me picking it up. Look at how beautiful that marble is. That is a great marble. Look at that. That might be the find of the day. Unless that cordo bell was intact.
I'm really only recording this thing because of the great color of it. Look how nice and green it turned out. God knows how old this thing is. It can't be that old. I don't know when they started making these kind of fasteners. Yeah, something interesting here. I thought initially it was a cork top, but it's looking more like it could be a milk bottle. I don't see any embossing. That's typically how the milks come out of here. I don't think I found one intact yet, but this one looks intact and looks maybe 30, 40s-ish. I mean, very gentle. It's still tight in there. Oh, that's giving a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's looking like a milk. And it looks in good shape. And there is some embossing on that. Okay, that says something. I think it's a Sheffield. Yep, and she looks, she looks in great condition. The top is a little narrower than I'm used to and it comes out pretty wide. So that's a Sheffield that I definitely do not have yet. Duraglass. Okay, great bottle for the first bottle of the day. Cleaned it up a little bit. Okay, with a quick wash in the water, she did come out nice. Store bottle, Sheffield. There's no cracks on it. There's no scratches on it. This thing looks in phenomenal shape. And I'm going to place that at the 20s, 1920s milk bottle. Maybe 30s. Uh, this is looking plastic, but it's still pretty cool. Oh, wait a minute. What's that right there? I'm looking at this little plastic piece of a toy car. Yep, it's plastic. And it looks like there might be some kind of barrette here. Yep, it's also plastic, though. Hmm, the zipper. Anything else? Well... This is. It's got some texture on it. Strange. Piece of wood. Might have been an old brush. All right. Well, that's stuff I'm just going to bring home and clean up and find out what it is when I get home. Nothing else in the wash. Okay. In it goes. Well, with a little digging, I did pull out an older cobalt blue. It's, you can tell by the color of the blue, it's really not super deep. And it's a different shaped bottle than I'm used to. But it's got an M on the bottom. It's in really good shape. I'm going to put that in the 40s or 50s. But a nice piece all together. The great, I wanted to show you this Ben J Crate Red Bank bottle that I just picked up. Had a really cool texture to the bottle. It's not super old, it's heavy. It's a soda bottle, local guy from Red Bank. It's broken up top, but this is gonna make a really cool cup by cutting the top of this. And I got one more over here I wanted to grab and see if it's okay. Not super old, but it does have cool texture to it. It's angled, it's probably hexagon shaped. Uh, nature's wash always does so much better than my own personal sifting. It just takes a little more time. Look at this beauty sitting right on top. So scanning around because usually when you see something come up top, that's a liquor bottle, but not super old and slick. But this guy's coming home. Look at you. 
Oh, perfume. How great is that? Cool triangle shape. Yeah. It's a collection of my mini perfumes now. It goes right in. I'm seeing something down here. Maybe it's just a fancy handle. Yep, I got a cool handle. Mm, why would I bring this home? But I have to. It's just cool enough. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But that one day that I might remember I have something for it, now I know I have it. So I just got to hide it somewhere at home. Going in storage, that cool handle. All right, look at this sitting right next to my foot. I'm starting to get a really good eye to pick up these guys. I think that that's not a rock. Yep. That is, I think that is a head of maybe a little boy with a cap on it. I can't really tell. I don't see the rest of the body laying around anywhere. But yeah, look at that. That's a little baby face with a cap sitting to the right, offset. That's a hole in the middle, which is indicative of this Japan figurines. Awesome. I'm bringing this little head to his rightful resting place. Now on my little shelf of figurines. Now since I'm standing in the light, there we go. Okay, right next to my buddies who beg for food almost as bad as my dog does. Man, oh man, do I wish this came in better shape. I can make out some writing on it. I can see the, the star in the middle, but it's pretty damaged. Could have just sat on top of a wine bottle, but it appears to be brass. Let me just see on the bottom, D-A-R-B something, not sure.